and his court were making merry one Christmas tide, passing the time with jousting and caroling and feasting and dancing. The most famous knights in Christendom and the fairest ladies that ever lived and the most courteous king of all the kings who ruled Britain dwelt there together in great joy. On New Year's Day, King Arthur held the best feast of all. It was his custom, however, not to eat on this occasion until he had seen some great marvel or adventure. The first course came with blaring trumpets and bright banners. Hardly had the whole court been served when an incredible knight rode into the hall. For wonder of his human heart, set in his semblance, hey, fair dost break what a father, and over all, anchor grainer. His clothes were green, his hair was green, his face was green, even his horse was green. Then Arthur, before the hich desa that aventur behold us, and reckonly him reverenced, for Rod was he never, and sighed, We're welcome a Wistothus Plas, the head of this hostel, Arthur e Hot, licked Lofletchadun, and Langi they pry, and what so they will is, we shall wit after. Nay, as help me, quoth the Hoffel, he that on he sitteth, to one any wheel in this one. It what's not mean earned. But for the loss of thy laid us lift up so he, and the burg and the burn as best are holden, stiffest under stale gear on status to reader, the wichtest and the worthiest of the worldest kinder, prave for to ply with in author poor like us. And her is kid courtizy as he have heard carp, and that hadst whined me her a wis at this tema. Yea, my bay sicker be this branch that he better hair, but he pass us in pace, and no plick seche. For had he founded in fair infecting wees, he have a halberk at home, and a helm both, a shell and a sharp spear sheen on the bricked, and other weaponous to well the wain a well os. But for he wold a no wear, me waiters are softer. But if thou be so bold as all a boor in his telling, thou wilt grant me godly the garment that he ask be ripped. Arthur Conan Soir and sighed, Sir Cortais knicked, if thou crave batile bar, her filest thou not to fecht. Nay, frist thee no fecht and fight thee they tell her. It are in a boot on this bench, but beardless children. If he were hospit in armas on a hechstede, had us no man made to much for a michter so wike. For thee, he crave in this court a Christmas gomen, for it is yol in New Year, and her are yep money. If any so hardy in this house holdeth himself in, be so bold in his blood, brine in his head, that dar stiffly streak a stroke for another. He shall give him of me gift, this geezer and rich, this ox that is heavy enough to handle as him leakus, and he shall be the first boor as bar as he sit. If any freight be so fella to founda that he tell him, leap a lickly may toe, and catch this weapon. He quit climb it forever, keep it as his own. And he shall stand him a stroke still on this flat. Ellis thou will dictate the dawn to daily him an author bar lie. And yet give him respite, a twelve monoth and a die. No he, and let's say teat, dar ani herein. Och, sigh. If he hem stooned upon first, 
stille er og er fan av det herret menn enn det halet, det hikk enn det lovet. Da renker han hans rund, se ham rutsjet i hans sadel, han rundesli hans redde i hans reile de bute. Bende hans brezer brues blik han de greine, Wyvet his bear for to wipe, quo so all the reza. When none will the cape him with carp, he could full he, and dreamed him full richly, and wrecked him to spake. What? Is this Arthur's hoos, quoth the half of Anna, that all the roos renes off their realm of so many? Where is new your sorquidry and your conquestus? Your grindelike and your grame and your great awardus. New is the revel and the renewn of the ruined tavla, overwhelmed with a ward of unweeha specha. For all daughters, for dread, without a dint shewed. With this he laches so luda, that the Lord graved, the blood shot for sham into his shira fas and lair. He wex as wroth as wind, so did all that there were. The king, as Cana be kinder, then stole that stiff man there and sighed, Hath will be heaven thee asking us nest, and else thou fully hast frist, fiendeth they behove us. It can no gone that is gost of thee, great award us. Give me new thee gazerin upon God's hove, and ye shall buy then thee bone that thou boden have us. Lickly labour say him to, and locked at his hand. Then fiercely that other freak upon photo licked us. Nu hadst Arthur the ox, and the helm of Grippus, and storily storis had about that streaker with it thought. The stiff man him before stowed upon hicht, hereth an ani in the hoose, be the head and more. With stor in a chair there he stowed, he stroked his beard, and with a countenance drea, Rocked down his coat, no more matnet smiled for his mind dintus, than any born upon bench had a brought him to drink of wean. Gowan, that sat be the queen, to the king he con and clean. He beseech no with saw as saner, this sally mot be mean. Wall the ye war the lich lord, quoth wow unto the king, Bid me bow a frothus bench, and stand be you there, that ye with hoot villainy make void of this tabla, and that me lady lady leaked not ill, ye will come to your court cell before your court rich. For may think it not samely as it is soft knowen, there such an asking as heavened so he in your sal, that ye yourself be talentief to talk it to your selvin, will money so bold you aboot, Upon bench sitten, thought under heaven he hope none higher of will, no better body as on bent there barret is rarid. I am the wakest he wot, and of wit fablest, and lace lure of me leaf ho light as the soth. But for as much as ye are mean emmy, am only to prize, no bunte but your blood, I and me body knowe. And sithen this note is so nice that knocked at you fallus, and he have frighted it at you first. Foldeth it to me, and if he carp not comelily, let all this court rich boot blom. Rich to get a con roon, and sithen thy red in all sama, to rid the king with croon, and gif gowan the gama. Then commandeth the king the knicked for to rees, and he full rodly uprose, and rutched him fire. Knele doon before the king, and catches that weapon. And he luflily hit him loft, and lift up his hand, and gave him God his blessing, and gladly him bid us that his heart and his hand should a hardy be bow. Caper they, cousin, quoth the king, that thou own kerf set, and if thou readest him ricked, redly e throw, that thou shall bid in the boor that he shall bade after. Gawain gots to the goma with gizarin in hand, and he baldly him beat us, he biced never at the helder. Then carpus to Sir Gawain, the knicked in the grainer. 
Reform away or a forwardness, er way fair pass. First, I either they hathu, who thought thou hottest, that thou may tell it truly as he trist my. In God five, quoth the God of Knecht, gow I ne hot, that badeth they this buffet, what so befalleth after, and at this time at twelve moneth, talketh they another, with what weapon so thou wilt, and with no weak ellis on leave. That other on swatters again, Sir Gowan, so moti thrive, as he am fairly fine, this dint that thou shall drive. Begog, quoth the Grenachnik, Sir Gowan may leak us that he shall fong out thee first that he hath priced her. And thou hast readily rehearsed, be raised on full trua, clanly all the covenant that he the king asked. Save that thou shall sicker me said of thee troth, that thou shall say to me thyself, where so thou hopest he may be found upon fold, and fetch thee such wages as thou dalest me to die before this doth rich. Where shall he wallet thee, quoth Wellen? Where is thee plus? He wot never where thou won, is be him that may have rocked. No, he know not thee, knicked, the court, nor the nama. But take me truly there at all, and tell me who thou hottest, and he shall war all me wit to win me thither, and that he swear thee forsooth, and be me sicker troweth. That is enough in new year, it needeth no more, quoth the gom and the grainer to go in the hender. If ye they tell it truly, when he the top half, and thou may smoothly hot smitten, smartly ye they teach, of me hoose, and me home, and me no enorma, then my thou frist me far, and forward as holder. And if he spend no speech, then speed as thou the better, for thou my lengthen thee land, and light no fearer but slokus. Ta nu the grim tall tothe, and what say who thou knockest? Gladly, sir, forsooth, quoth Gowan, his ox he strokes. The grain a knicked upon groon to grithily him dresses. A little lute with the head, the lair he discovers. His long lovelich locus he lied over his croon. Let the knocked neck to the note shewer. Gawain grip it to his ox, and getter is hit on hicht. The kai fought on the fold he before set, let it do lickly licked on the knocked, that the sharp of the shock shindered the bonus, and trunk thirk the sheer grace and shadow hit and twin, that the bit of the brun stale boat on the ground. The fire head from the hulse hit to the earth, that veil hit pointed with her fate there, hit forth rolled. The blood bride for the body that flickered on the grain. On. Now there faltered na fell the break never the helder. But stiffly he start forth upon stiff shankus, and runishly he rocked out there as rank a stodden, locked to his lovely head, and lifted up son. And sith and bow it to his blanc, the bridle he catches, step us into a stale bow and street us aloft. And his head be the hair in his hand to hold us, and as sadly to set him in his saddle set, as no nun ha padam eyelid, that headless he were instead. He bride his bulk aboot, that ugly body that bled, money on of him ha doot, be that his raisins were red. For the head in his hand he held his up even, toward the deadest on the days he lift his the head. And it lift up the ear litters and lock it full broad, and mail it thus much with his mouth as ye my new hair. Lock a gowan through bay cry that o go as thou hot us, and light us lily till thou may lude a fiend, as thou hast het in this hall, heron these a knictus. Till the grain of chapel thou chose he charge thee to fort. Such a dunt as thou hast dealt, deserved to have us, 
Tabe yadderly old and on new yadder small. The knicked of the granite chapel men knell in May money. Forty me, for to fiend of the Christus, pilus thou never. Therefore come, or the recreant be called the Behoffus. With the runish root, the rhinus he turinus, hallowed out at the hall door, his head in his horn, but the fear of the flint flach fra full of hovers. To what kith he become, knew and on there. Never more than thy wisdom from quethen he wast wonen. What then? The king and gallon thar, at that grena thy lach and grena. Yet, Brave it what's tit full bar, a mervile among tho men. Bach Arthur, the hender king, at heart had a wonder. He let no semblant be sena, but sighed a full here to the comla chequain with cortai specia. Dera dama, to die do my you never. Well become as such craft upon Christmas, liking of it or do this to lach and to sing among these akin de Carolus of Knictus and Ladius. Nevertheless, tell me, mate, am I may well dress her, for he have seen a selly, am I not forsak? He glint upon Sir Gawain, and gainly he sighed, No, Sir, hang up the ox that hats the noch hewen. And it was done above the days, on dozer to henga, there all a men for mervile micht on hit log, and be true a title thereof, to tell the wonder. Then thy boa to abor, these aborinus together, the king and the godeknicht, and cane a men him servit of all a daintiest dubla, as derest micht fall, with all a manner of mate and minstrelsy both, with well a wilt thy thought die, till war that an end in land. No think well, Sir Gallen, for woe that thou thou no wander, this aventure for to frine, that thou hast tan on a honda. Shortly after All Saints' Day, Sir Gawain armed himself and set forth on his quest. He traveled into many unknown parts and met with strange adventures. At last, on Christmas Eve, weary and freezing, he came to a castle. The lord of the castle greeted him warmly and welcomed him to join in their Christmas festivities. They made great mirth. The lady of the castle was especially delightful. She had gray eyes, and she was fairer even than Guinevere. She and Sir Gawain spent much time laughing and talking together. In the course of the celebration, the lord of the castle suggested a game they should play. He would go out hunting the next day, and Sir Gawain would stay at home and sleep in and do what he pleased all day. Then in the evening, they would exchange what they had gotten during the course of the day. The next morning, the lord of the castle got up early and went out to hunt deer. Thus likest this lord be Linda Woda's Avis, and Gawain, the gold man, in Guy bed Ligus. Lorcus quill the dialect lamed on the wowers, under cover to full clara, curtain the boot. And as in slumbering he slowda, slackly he heard a little din at his door, undoubtedly upon. And he heathers up his head out of the clothes, a corner of the curtain he cocked up a little, and white as warly thitherward, what had they met? 
It was the laddie, loveliest to behold, that broke the door after her full daringly and still, and bowed toward the bed. And the boar and shamed, and lied him down listily, and let us he slept. And ho stepped stilly and stale to his bed, cast up the curtain and creped within, and sat here full softly on the bed cedar, and lingered there silly longer, to loco when he walked it. The lude lie lurked a full long aquila, compassed in his conscience, to what that cows make mave of the remont, to mervile him thought. But yet, he sighed in himself, more semely it were, to a spear with me spell, in spasa what ho wolder. Then he walked and rolled, and to hear war torned, and unlocked his ear let us, and let us him wonder it and signed him as be his saw, the sover to ward her with hand. With chin and shake full sweater, both wheat and red and blonde, full lovely can later, with lip as small, lachand. Good morning, Sir Gawain, quoth the guy laddie. Ye are a sleeper uns that man my sleeve here. No, are ye tan a steep? But true, I us my shopper. He shall be to you in your bed, that be ye trist. Allah and the laddie launched thou boarded us. Good morrow, guy, quoth Gawain the bleeder. May shall war that your will, and that may well leak us. For he yelled away early, and ye after grass, and that is the best be made on, for may behold us naid. And thus he boarded it again with many a bleed laughter. But wold ye, laddie lovely, then leave me grant, and appraise your prison, and pray him to raise. He will bow off this bed and busk me better. He shall cover the more comfort to carp you with. Nigh forsooth, bow sir, sighed that sweater, ye shall not raise of your bed, ye rich you better. He shall have you here that other half else, and sit and cart with me knick that he cocked half. For he wain a well o' us, Sir Wallen ye are, that all the world worship is where so ye reader. Your honour and your handelike is handily prized, with lordus, with laudius, with all that leaf bearer. And do ye are here us, and we but ur ona. My lord and his ludus are on length for him. Other boren is in her bed, and me bored us all. The door drawn and deep with a dark hasp. And sith and he have in this hoose him that all leak us, he shall warm me wheel a well, wheel it lost us, with taller. Ye are welcome to me course, your own wan to walla. May behove us a fina force, your servant bay, and shala. In God faith, quoth Gawain, Gain it may think us, though it be not new hay that ye have spaken. To Rachel to such reverence as ye rehearse a hair, ye am we unworthy, ye wot well me selvin. Be God, ye were glad in your God thought, at saw other at servisi that he set amicht, to the pleasance of your priest, it were a poor joy. In God fight, Sir Gawain, sighed that sweater. The priest and the prouest that plays us all over, if he had locked it or set it licked, it were a little dainty. But yet our ladius enough that lever were nuth, hath they hand in her hold, as he they have a hair. So dolly with verily your dainty wardus, cover him comfort and cool in her caris, than much of the garrison over gold that thy haven. For he love that ilk lord that the lift holdest, he hath it wholly in me hand that all desireth the grass. Show not him so great chair that what so fire of foss. The connect with speeches scare. Answered to Ucha Kass. 
At last the lady said, You can't be Sir Gallon. Why not, he asked. Gallon always kisses ladies whenever he can. I will kiss at your commandment, said he. And she kissed him. When the lord of the castle came back that evening, he presented a hundred deer to Sir Gallon. And Sir Gallon gave him a kiss. They laughed and determined to make the same bargain for the next day. The next morning, while the Lord chased a wild boar, the lady again came to Gallant's room early in the morning. Your word and your worship walk as I wear, and ye have set him be yourself her set a twist. Yet her he never of your head held an awardus that ever longer to love, less and more. And ye that are so courteous and quaint of your haters, oh, to a young thing yer and how shoe and teach her some tokenness of true love crafters. We are ye lewd that all the lost welders, or that Ellis ye daemon may told Dilla your dalliance to hearken. For shame, he come here single and set a to learn at you some gone. Does teach us me of your witta. Will me lord is for harm. In God faith, quoth Gawain, God you for yelda, great is the god of glay and gomen to me huja, that so worthy as ye, will the winner hitter and pina you with so poor a man as ply with your knicht with any skinnest countenance, hit keveris me aze. But to talk of the torvile to myself, to true love expone, and twitch of the tamers of text and talus of armis, to you, that he wot well, well this more slicked of that art, be the whole for a hundredth of such as he are mother ever shall in erid a very leva. It were a fall a fail of all to me, fray be me troth. He will do your willing watch at me micht, as he am hilly beholden, and evermore will be servant to your selvin, so save me drichten. Thus him freined that fray, and founded him off, for to have won in him to woe, what so shall thought, Ellis. But he defended him so far, that no fault same it, no non evil on now that are half, now that thy wisdom but bliss. Thy locked and like it long, at the last shall con him kiss. Here a a fire con shall fong, and went here why a wis. When the lord of the castle came back that evening, he presented a ferocious boar to Sir Gallen, and Sir Gallen gave him two kisses. Gallen was going to leave the next day to seek the green chapel. But the lord of the castle told him it was not far, and he could leave the following morning and get there on time. So Gallen stayed to play the exchange game a third time. The next morning, while the lord was out chasing a wily fox, Sir Gallen slept soundly enclosed by lovely curtains on the cold morning. When the lady awakened him, he greeted her eagerly, though again he evaded her request. She seemed saddened at this and asked that he accept a gift. Ho oh, rocked him a richer rink of red gold awerkes, with a star on the stone stand on the loft that bear a blush on the bemis as the bricked sun. Wit ye well, it was worth well of all hoja. But the rink had renied, and readily he sighed, He will not gift us for God and me guy at this team. He have none your to norn, no knocked will he talka. Ho bade hit him full busily, and he her bode awareness. 
on swerer swifter be her salt that he had says an older, and ho sorry that he forsook, and sighed it thereafter. If ye renai me rink to rich for it samus, ye will the not so hilly halden be to me. He shall give you me Gerardo, that gynas your loss. Ho lach to loss lovely that lay on her cedars, knit upon her kerto under the clara mantle. Gerard hit what's with grain a silk, and with gold a shopped, not but a ruined a bride and baiten with fingers. On that, ho bade it to the boren, and bleedily besought thach hit unworthy wear, that he had talk a walder. And he nigh that he know the nech in no weasa, now the gold nagari soon, er God him grass ascended to achieve to the chance that he had chosen there. And therefore he pray you displease you not, and let us be your busyness, for he by the hit you never to grant. I am darily to you beholden because of your semblant, and ever in hot and cold, to be your truest servant. No, for sake this silk, sighed the border then, for it is simply in itself, and so it well same us. Lo, so it is little, and loss it is worthy. But ho so knew the costas that knitar therein, he walde had prize at more priest par aventure. For what goma so is gored with this grain alasa, wheel he had had a hemily halchered a buta, there is no hathal under heaven to hew him that mecht, for he mecht not be slyne, for slicked upon erda. Then kissed the knecht, and it come to his herd, it were a jewel for the jeopardy that him judged were, when he achieved to the chapel his check for to fetch. Mecht he half slipped to be on slyne, the slacked were a nobler. Then he folded with her thrape, and folded her to spake, and ho bare on him the belt, and bade hit him swither, and he granted, and him got with a good will, and besought him for her sake, discover hit never, but to lelly line of fro her lord. For lure him accorded us, but never we a shall hit wit a wis, but thy twine of for a knock. He thonked her oft full swither, full throw with heart and thought. Be that on thrin a ho hadst kissed the knecht so talked. When the lady's husband came back, Sir Gowan at once presented him with the three kisses and received from him a fox that had cleverly eluded them much of the day, but at the last had been caught. The next morning, Sir Gowan set out with a guide for the Green Chapel. Thy bowen be bonkers, their boas are bar. Thy clomben be cliffs, their clangers the cold. The haven with to halt, but ugly there under. Mist mugged on the moor, malt on the montes. Which hill had a hut, and this talk of huja. Broca, spieled, and breaker be bonkers abuta. Sheer shatter and on shores, there they do shoved. Well, Awila, what's that why? There they be woad children. Till it what sonna says on that the sun raises that teed. Thy were on a hill full here, the wheat snow lay beside The boar and the road him be bade his meister abide. I have brought you this close, said his guide, but I will go no further. The green chapel is a terrible place. The worst man in the world lives there. And he slays whomever passes by, be he monk, knight, or peasant. Do not go on. I will never tell anyone that you turned back. I will go on, said Gowan. God will help me. 
So the other man reluctantly left him, and Gowan rode on alone. At length, he came to a hollow green mound beside a stream. He dismounted, tied his horse to a branch, and walked up to the mound. Could this be the green chapel, he wondered? This would be a good place for the devil to say his mass. With he a helm on his head, his lance in his hand, he roams up to the roof of the Rochwanis. Then a herd of he of that here hill, in a hard rocha, beyond the brook in a bank, a wonder brame and oise. What it clattered in the cliff as it clave a us own upon a grindle stone had a ground in a seether. What it watered and wet as water at a molna, what it rushed and wrong rose to her. Then, be God, quoth Gawain, that gear as he threw is Richard at the reverence, may rank to me to be rota. Let God watch her, well, lo, it help us may not emote. Me leaf not he forgo, dread dots may no load. Then at the connect con colourful here. Hold stickless in this stead, may steven to hold, for a new is go to Gawain go on direct hair. If only we are ocht willer, win her or fast, or the new other never his natus to spade. A bead a quoth on, on the bank above and over his head. On to shall ha fall in hast that he they hicked on us. Yet he rushed on that word a rapidly a throw, and with wetting a wharf ere he wold a licht. And sithen, he cover us be a crag, and come us of a hole, we are land out of our row with a fellow weapon. A Dana's ox new dicht the dint with to yelda, with a borelich bit, then the be the halma. Feel it in a feel or four foot large. It was no lassa, be that lassa that lamed full bricked. On the gom and the grain a garret us first, both the leer and the leggers, lockers and beard. Sav that fire on his foot, he found us on the earth. Set the stale atoth the stone and stalked the cedar. When he want the water, there he wad an older, he hippered over on his ox and orpidly streed us, bramely broad on a bent that brought a what's a boot on snow. Sir Gallant the knicked con meta, and allude him nothing low, but other side. No, sir, sweater, of Steven, man, my they throw. Gawain, quoth that grain a gom. God, they mot look. I wish thou art welcome, we are Tommy Plas. And thou hast Timothy travail us through, man, should. And thou knowest the covenanters cast us between. At this time, a twelve monoth, thou talketh that they followed. On shoulder at this new year, yeply they quit. And where in this valley, there I live, or honor, there are no rankers us to rid, rail us us leakers. Half the helm off the head, and half hair of the pie, busk no more debat than e they bade it then, when thou whip it off me head and a wap honor. Nay, be God, quoth Gawain, thought may ghost launt. He shall grudge they no grua for grain that falleth, but stick to they upon own stroke, and he shall stand still, and warp they no warning to watch as they leak us nowhere. He leaned with the neck and lute, and shewed that sheer all bar, and let us he not doot, for dread he will not dar. Then the gom and the grainer grithed him sweeter, getters up his grim toll a gowine to smeet her. With all the boor in his body, he bare it on loft, went as machtily as mar him, he wold. Had it driven a doon as drake as he uttered, 
that had been dead of his dint that took he what's ever. But Gawain on that gizarin, glyft him the seed as it can't lead on to do and on glory him to shenda, and trunk a little with the shoulders for the sharp earina. That other shalk with a shunt, the shena with haldus, and then will private hate the prince with many prude awardus. Thou art not Gawain, that is so good, Halden, that never aried for no hair be hill ne be valley, and no thou flays for fair, ere thou fail a harmus, such cowardice of that connect could thee never hear her. Now their figure e in a flock freak when thou mittest, ne cast no cavalation in kinga's hoose Arthur. Me head, flock to me foot, and yet flock he never. And thou, er any harm hent, arius in herta. Wherefore, the better boor and may boor to be called therefore. Quoth Gawain, he shunt on us, and so will he no more. But thou me head fallen to stone us, he cannot hit restore. But bust boor and be thee five, and bring me to the point. Dela to me me destiny. And do it out of hand, for he shall stand there a stroke, and start no more till the knocks half may hit, half hair me troth. Have at they then, quoth that other, and have us it aloft, and white us as rovely as he would wear it. He meant us at him mochtily, but not the man Rinus, withheld a hetterly his hand, ere hit hurt me. Gawain grithily had beat us, and glent with no membra, but stood as still as the stone, or the restobowther, that rather led us in the roche grunda with rotas a hundred. Then merrily hath gone he mailed the man in the grain. So knew who has the hair at all, it may behoves. How do they knew? The here hoda thought Arthur they rocked, and caper the canal at this cast of it cover my. Gawain full grindily with Grameth inside. We thresh on to throw man, thou threat us too long. He hopeth that they have Arya with the no and Selvan. For so, quoth that other Frank. So, felly, thou spakest, he will no longer on lead to let a thing err and a ricked new. Then toss he him stree the tostrika, and fronts both lip and brew, no mervile tha him a sleeker, that hope it of no rescue. He lift us lickly his long, and let it do in fire, with the barb of the bit be the bar a neck. Tha he humor it heavily, hurt him no more, but snirt him on that own cedar that severed the heater. The sharp shrunk to the flesh the, the shir a grace, but the shane of blood over his shoulder is shot to the air. And when the boar and sake the blood a blank on the snow, he spread forth, spread a foot a more than a sperling, hent heavily his helm and on his head cost, shot with his shoulder as his fire shell dwindled. Bright as out a brick sword, and bramely he spake us, never since that he was poor and born of his mother, but say never in this world we are half so bleather. Blin, born of the boar, bade him may no more, he have a stroke in this stead without a strief hint, and if thou righteous may any more, he readily shall quit, and yell the utterly again, and there to ye trist and fall. But on stroke her may fall us, the covenant shall break so. There met in Arthur as Hollis, and therefore hend a new hall. The green knight leaned on his axe and looked at Sir Gawain with joy. You have no need to be so fierce. If I had wished to strike harder, I could easily have done so. The two harmless blows were for the first two days when you kissed my fair wife and gave the kisses to me. You failed on the third day, and therefore I struck the blow. The belt you are wearing is mine. I gave it to my wife and sent her to test you. 
You are a good knight, Sir Gawain. You failed, not for wickedness or for wooing, but because you loved your own life. Cursed be cowardice and covetousness, exclaimed Sir Gawain. He untied the belt and flung it at the feet of the green knight. I confess before you that I am faulty and false. The green knight answered lightly, You have confessed your errors and paid penance beneath my blade, so I hold the small harm that I had healed beyond doubt. So come back to the castle and my wife, who was your foe, shall be your friend. Never, exclaimed Sir Gawain, but I would like to keep the belt to remind me of my fault. Also, I would like to know what is your true name. I will tell you gladly, he replied. I am Bertilac de Haut Désert. Morgan La Fay, who lives in my castle, enchanted me and changed my color to distress Guinevere hoping she would die of fear. Morgan is your aunt, so return to my hall and make merry. No, I will not, said Gallen. So they parted, and Gallen returned to Camelot wearing the green belt as a baldric. There, with much shame, he told Arthur in the court of his adventures. The king comforted the knight, and all of the court laughs. Lock and looted their art, and lovelily accorded, and thought, lordes and laddies that longed to the table, which a born of the brotherhood, a baldric should have, a bend of a left them a boot of a bricked grain, and thought for sack of that sedge in sweat to wear her. For thought what's accorded the renown of the ruined table, and he honoured that it had ever more after, as it is braved in the best book of romance. Thus in Arthur as died this Antur betid, the Brutus book as thereof there is witness. Sith in Brutus the bold a boar and bowed hither first, after the sage and the assault, what says it at Troia with? Many Antur is here before and unfallen such ere this knew that there the crown of thorn, he bring us to his bliss. Amen.